Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. This is 15.6 and Anton's 11th edition. We're talking flux for calculus three. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. We got some examples. Now, uh, the first example is just a one pager. Uh, we're going to find the flux of the force field Z, Y, and X across the unit sphere X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared. Uh, since we're using a sphere, we are going to parameterize it with phi and cosine theta, or phi and theta. Uh, and if you work it out, you're going to get that the, the cross product of r, derivative of r with respect to phi, cross with r with respect to theta. You're going to get this. We did this in 15.5 with rho in it, but rho here is one because it's a unit sphere. Uh, if you don't believe me, you should work it out again. Uh, so that's my r theta or r phi cross r theta. So I drew the, the sphere because it's like, what's going on with this weird function and this vector function? So when we're going straight up, we're out in the z component. Z component says x. So the flow along there is in the x direction or towards us. Uh, and yet when we go in x, it's going straight up. So they're like kind of going upwards meeting here, uh, anywhere in the middle, we're getting a little bit, it, it's still doing that. Uh, actually here it's doing both. So it'll have some right component, some left component, it'll be going like that. So that's kind of crazy. It's a weird, weird example. I don't know what this would be in real life, <clears throat> but our integral, our flux is gonna be F dotted with uh, the cross product we just calculated, r with respect to phi and r with respect to theta. So I rewrote f z y x in ter terms of cosine theta and, and sorry, phi and theta. Uh, we know the equations for x y and z in spherical, and so z is rho cosine theta or cosine phi, and z was our x component. So you can follow it through. Uh, when you do the dot product, you get that. Uh, and so now we want to integrate that with respect to d phi and d theta. So if we get, chug along through it. Uh, so this is a fancy phi. It's fancy. It's a fancy phi. It might be capital phi. I think it's capital phi. Uh, but that's the symbol they use for flux. Uh, so I've got it written out. Uh, we're going zero to two pi for theta, zero to pi for phi. Uh, I did combine like terms. There was two of these. So I added them together to put two. Uh, and if you go through and do the integral, you're gonna find that you get four thirds pi. Uh, pause the video and confirm the math that you get the same math I do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.